Okay, so we're going to try to draw a bathroom this time. So this is our basic shape for our bathroom. Uh, things we're going to try to add will be a bathtub. Um, would you guys rather have a sink or a toilet? Toilet. Toilet? Only one person speaks. A bathtub. Bathtub for sure. Oh, a sink. sink. No, a toilet. Sink. sink. Bathtub sink. and a toilet. Bathtub and a toilet. Better. Okay. I think the bathtub we can definitely do, it won't be too hard. The toilet will be challenging and maybe not even that useful, but it's, at least it's an interesting challenge. So I'm going to put, well, let's do the bathtub and then, and then we'll decide about the second one, okay? So the bathtub, um, a typical bathroom is not very big. It's about, let's say, let's call this 10 feet wide and 10 feet deep, okay? 10 feet by 10 feet. Does everybody have a basic idea of how big that is? Mm -hmm. In real life, that's like the distance from here to about right here, and that's it. It's not very big. So there's a bathtub, there's a sink, there's a toilet, and that's it. Okay, so how long does a bathtub have to be? Uh, All the way. At least six so, feet. So how, long do, how tall is a, a tall person? Six feet? Can a six-foot person lie down in a bathtub? No. 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 no, but they can sit up, right? Yeah. How long do you think it is? Maybe five feet? They can bend their legs. Possibly. How about four? About four? No, five. I think five feels good because I'm a little bit over five, right? And I can I can go like this in a bathtub. So probably five. And then how wide is it? It's about this wide. What about do you guys like think this is? Four, three, three feet. feet. Three, four feet. Three three and and two, three, and four. So what do you think is the best three. choice? Three. Three. Let's go with three by five. Okay. So we're gonna make our bathtub be a rectangular prism in this corner of the room. So it's going to be a rectangular prism. So we're going to start by doing a rectangle. Now think of it. We're saying that the room represents 10 by 10, and 5 is half of 10, right? So yes. the bathtub is going to come from here to exactly halfway across. So make a little mark representing halfway across. All right. And then we said it's going to be 3. So it's going to come 3 in this direction. So if this represents 10, 3 is about one-third of that. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So mark the spot that's about one-third of the way across. To about right there is accurate. Actually, I'm going to go to about right here because it's foreshortened, so actually the final third will be the shortest of the thirds, which is another very tricky concept to understand. So we've got a point here and a point here. Again, this point is halfway across. This point is about a third of the way across. We're trying to get appropriate measurements. So here's what you're going to do. Make a very light line coming away from here. Very light, easy to erase, completely parallel to this line. So parallel to this line, very light coming across. By the way, are you guys thinking kind of modern bathroom or old-timey bathroom? Modern. Modern? So more modern things, they tend to be more linear, right? More right angles, not as, not as round. The okay, older ones are okay. rounder. Okay, so now to make the bottom of the bathtub, what we do is we have to connect from here to here. But the way we do it is going to be a perspective line. So that means you line up to the vanishing point, and you make it, and it comes, see, at an angle. And then I erase the rest. So this trapezoid here represents a rectangle. It's a rectangle in perspective. It represents the bottom of the bathtub. So technically, you'll never actually even see this rectangle, but we need it to build the rest of the bathtub. Okay, so how tall is a typical ceiling in a bathroom? 13 feet. Mm. That's a half or seven. 10 feet. Seven. If you look at this, I can come pretty close to touching this standing up. So this is probably seven and a half. I think seven and a half or eight is usually typical. And how tall is a bathtub? Three. Four feet. Four feet would be up to here. One and two. Two? I think two is probably okay. I think, yeah, two is probably about right. Maybe, yeah, I, I guess about two. So half of eight, because we're saying this is eight, half of that would be four, half of that would be two. So do you guys understand this point here represents two feet. So what we're going to do at this point, make the point, and then we're going to make another line, make it longer than it needs to be, and nice and light, 
longer than it needs to be out to here. In fact, it needs to be parallel, and I can tell that I made that one a little high, so I'm going to do that one over again. That's a better line. Now what we're doing is we're, we're drawing the back of it. So from here to here, we just draw a nice vertical line to connect it. This vertical line represents the back, and you can get rid of the excess. Okay, so now we have the bottom and we have the back. So next we're going to make the sides, and then we'll make the front and the top. So to make the side here, we're going to go straight up. And this line here, again, make it longer than it needs to be, but totally vertical. And again, I don't think my vertical line was so good. This is a better vertical line. That's a better vertical line. Okay. So this one's totally vertical, totally parallel to this line. And the way you connect them, this is the key part. You set up with the vanishing point. You go to this point and you make a diagonal line. That allows you to erase this part and you've got the right side of the bathtub. That looks weird. It looks weird, that's the thing. It's going to look really weird until it's almost done and then all of a sudden you're going to be like, oh, that's a bathtub. So you have to understand almost everything that we're going to do starts out as a rectangular prism. So you figure out the size of the prism, you build the prism, then you kind of turn it into the thing it's supposed to be. Okay, so here, again, the same thing. We're going to do a vertical line. And to do the left side, the way we get this edge right here is, again, we do a perspective line. We come from here, we line up to the vanishing point, very important, and come in this direction. And if we did it correctly, this point and this point should be level with each other. And the last part of this rectangular prism is to connect these two points. Okay, now we have a rectangular prism. So does everybody see how the rectangular prism works out? Okay, so you guys said modern bathtub. So a modern bathtub is pretty much just a box that a person goes in. It doesn't have any feet, right? It's not like one of those old-timey ones with the claw feet. So it's just going to be a box. So now, now that we have the rectangular prism, let's erase all the lines that would not be visible. So think about this line. Would this line be visible? Yes or no? No. No. So get rid of it. How about this line coming across? No. Nope. Gone. Gone. How about this one? No. Do I keep it? Yeah, keep it. Keep it, OK? Get rid of this one. This one. Oh, I keep that one, right? Yeah. 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 Although I don't necessarily need to keep those. And I'll show you why. Is this a fish tank? No. 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 So is this a, a thin piece of glass? No, it has shape, doesn't it? So, it's gonna be like so I'm actually going to get rid of these. Yeah. Because the entrance doesn't look like that. So what does the entrance to a bathtub look like? It's, it's, it's kind of a rounded rectangle, right? So from above, it would look like this, right? It would be kind of like this. Mm -hmm. Does everybody kind of agree with that? Yeah. So the key is how to draw that in perspective. So I want you to think about this. If you look at this part of the, the top, everybody look. This part of the top is pointing this direction, right? And this part of the top is pointing this direction. So as we look at this from above, it's going to kind of have this kind of look to it. Does that make sense? This edge kind of collapses this way, this edge collapses this way, in line with the edge of the top rectangle. So it's going to be a little like this. This part needs to be very straight, so it's going to be a challenge. But then it kind of goes like that. So it's probably good to use a ruler, except for the edges. And you know, 
A ruler isn't that great either because we're talking about something that is a little bit round. But it's hard to really make a really great line right there, especially on a whiteboard. Okay. So right now it just, I mean, you could call it a bathtub. It doesn't really have any characteristics of a bathtub. What are some things about this that make it look not very bathtub-like? There's no curtain. There's no curtain, okay. Is there any aspects to the shape, though, that maybe we could change? It's not wired. Is it too square? Yeah. Too yeah, the end is like the chips. So if we, if we were to get rid of the corner, would that kind of help? Yeah. A little bit? The bottom. The bottom? Well, a lot of them are just kind of like that. Do you want to have something more interesting? Do you want to give it legs or something? <laughs> Yeah, because it looks just squared. It's like, yeah. Jacuzzi. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. It looks kind of like a jacuzzi, yeah. The tile. What's that? Tile? Tiles. You want to do tiles? Okay, yeah. we can do tiles. Tiles, are, tiles should be really easy here. Yeah. Um, tiles are going to come like this. Uh, so let's see. A typical tile is 12 inches. We said this was 2 feet, right? Mm -hmm. So how many tiles will there be vertically? Four. Two. Oh. <laughs> right? Just two. So basically, it's just this line. And then how long did we say? We said it was five feet, right? Yeah. So it's going to go five this way. So it's probably not going to be five because. I think that we're already dealing with the kind of distorted beginning palette. Actually, it's actually nothing wrong with that. It's not bad. So that kind of makes tile. You could add your own design to the tile. By the way, are these tiles, are they, are they flat, straightforward, or are they in perspective? Perspective. These ones? Just flat. They're flat. They're just like the wall. Oh, yeah. So you don't have to do anything fancy to draw these tiles. They're very, very straightforward. The side tiles would be harder, but we can't see those anyway, so it doesn't actually matter. Okay, you guys want to add a shower curtain? Yes. Yeah? Of course. So a shower curtain's got to come on a rod. And the rod, I think, on this one, it's going to be one of those ones that suspends and turns the corner above the shower. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, so the part that comes out of the wall is going to come from directly above this point because the, far, the distance from the wall has to be exactly above this point in order to cover the shower. And should it go all the way to the ceiling? No, we'll just do a bar. I think it'll come to here. So the bar has to stay parallel to the top of the ceiling. But then a funny thing happens. When it gets here, it turns the corner and goes towards the wall. How do we draw that line? It goes under. We're going to use the vanishing point. going to kind of come like this. It's going to have a rounded spot. It's not going to go very far. It's just going to touch the wall over here. It's going to go in the direction of the vanishing point because this, anything coming in this direction is a perspective line. And then we have our curtain. And how should we draw our curtain? Can we, do we need to use a ruler for a curtain or is that a freehand no, thing? Freehand. freehand. So let's say that the curtain is partially open. You can have all your rings. You can add your rings here. The curtain is partially open. It comes around here, and then you kind of lose it right around there. So, you erase the little part. so then you erase everything in it that looks bathtubby behind the curtain. And you can try to draw another pattern on top of it. And one thing I've noticed is that with one point perspective drawings, it's adding the little freehand things that give it a lot of personality. Because all of a sudden this really starts to look like a bathtub and it looks a lot less like a, uh, a box. Yeah. Um, is there a suggestion from the back? Uh, to attach the curtain to the rings. Like the little oh, well, artists. the curtain the curtain needs a top. <laughs> there we go. And then... What's that? Arcs towards each ring. Arcs. Well, we're, we're like little chains. Yeah. There we go. All right. There we go. So it's like hanging. Okay. Um, a shower head. So the only thing hard about the shower head, it's easy to draw, but it's important to position it right. So where does the shower head have to be? In the middle. In the middle. 
And the way to find the middle is find the exact center of the bathtub itself and go directly above that point. You guys get that? It has to be directly above that center point. So we've got our exact center. Directly above that, right about here, is where the shower head will come out. It's going to come out at first, straight out, and then curve, and you get a little of this shape. Which, the easiest way to show what that looks like is a very, a very narrow oval like this. This is the idea of it. So you know this is a circle, but the circle has been flattened out. So it's a very narrow oval. And then to give it a little final personality, you can just Whatever. turn the water on. Well, yeah, then you got to draw the naked person in there, but oh, we have to have the handles too. The handles will work pretty much the same way, but the handles, are they exactly centered, yes or no? No. No, there's one slightly on the left and one slightly on the right, right? And they need to be at hand height. So this is about seven feet tall. This is eight feet tall. The person's head is about here. Hand height is about here. And here's the thing. Are they going to be completely flat to each other? They're going to be lined up to the vanishing point. So for me, in this one, they're pretty flat, but one is slightly higher than the other. Does everybody see that? Slightly higher. You have to line them up to the vanishing point because they're on the wall there. And then for me they're going to just be like this little... Well what they are is just a, it's just like a plus sign, right? That's the shape? But when you look at that in perspective it starts to look more like this because this one shows its full length but this one gets foreshortened at an angle. Okay, so there we go. Little okay. So now um, let's let's uh, let's say that that's it for the shower, and we'll do. What do you want? Toilet or sink next? Sink, sink. Sink.